Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diachronic Roaster on this Destiny 2 video, and today we're gonna to be talking about where the Zur is, his roles, his location, his inventory for September 6, 2019. So, like I said, I'm gonna show you where he is, what he's got, and all my recommendations for all the Putin enemies. So First of all, he is going to be on the planet EDZ. So just head over to Earth, uh, find your a place right here in Winding Cove, make your way up on top of this mountain. You can actually see where the spawn is right over here, and you should be able to find the Zer right here. And of course, he leaves um, by Tuesday reset. So this is going to be a high overview of what he's got. I've already finished all of the Invitation of the Nine. That's why they're not showing up uh, for my Hunter, but uh, that is obviously there if you still need them. So first and foremost, we have the weapon. Lord of Wolves used to kind of dominate in the Crucible for the past where they they slightly nerfed it uh, basically it fires a powerful short-range burst of solar damage it acts more like a pulse rifle a, a sort of close range pulse rifle in the second perk where you hold down uh, the reload button to swap to a longer more powerful burst so instead of shooting uh, five shots per burst it shoots 10 shots per burst and does more damage with each one of the shots which is actually uh, what made it really really powerful in the crucible they've uh, since then lowered the amount of ammo that you can get uh, from scavengers for this weapon so you can't just get a ridiculous amount of scavenger every time you kill somebody you get way more ammo than you actually use and they also made it so that the damage increase isn't as uh, significant overall I would still say it's a pretty decent weapon to use it's still pretty easy to use it's still very effective um, but there are definitely a lot of other weapons people are using this day. One of the highest damage dealers for PvE for the special slot, however, I still love using my Akelos because I like using exotics for uh, the power slot. Anyways, moving on to the Titan exotic, we have the Lion Rampant. It's going to be all about aerial maneuverability, it's going to be about going faster, and then from what I've seen in the past, it's actually going to be faster than the Dune Marshal. So this is going to be your strafe boots, it's going to be your jump boots, it's just going to be your overall maneuverability boots. Uh, for your Titan. On top of that, it also gives you more hip fire accuracy when you're in the air with lift. Uh, but for the most part, you use it just because it makes your lift really, really long and makes it uh, a lot easier to do jumps and you move a lot faster when using lift. So overall, you go faster. As far as the roll goes, we got some pretty good things like Dynamo. We also have Bomber. These are both things that I do like to have on a lot of my armor pieces. However, uh, Special Ammo Finder is the best thing to have in this column three. So kind of like averaging, not a lot of great stuff. And then finally, it does in fact have an ornament, which is uh, kind of uh, meh. Moving on to the Warlock Exotic, we have the Sunbracers. They got a big update like uh, many months ago where they changed it. If you haven't tried it since it came out with the base game, they have in fact changed it. And it's a lot of fun. However, I wouldn't say that it's like A tier or S tier. It's just a lot of fun to do. So if you did not know, increases the duration of solar grenades and solar melee kills grant unlimited solar grenade for a brief period of time. So if you get one of those solar melee kills, you know, with the energy kill, then you get like five grenades you can spam as fast as possible and you also get a six grenade charged up which is really really cool and i kid you not literally spam the hell out of them use this with attunement of sky in the air while your grenades are getting killed while you're in the air and you get uh, melee and grenade energy back so you can get another melee kill and get more grenades it's just a lot of fun but in uh, the higher level play in like raids and harder difficulties it doesn't really shine uh, because you do have to get a solar melee kill and that's oftentimes very specific as far as uh, the the rolls go fastball does have good synergy with this uh, and momentum transfer is the perfect synergy with the actual exotic and having sniper rifle scavenger or heavy ammo finder are pretty good things to have on this so a very above average roll for a uh, above average exotic and also has an ornament that looks pretty cool as well <laughs> i just i just read the the flavored text for this one uh, I love making people laugh, and by people I mean me. Ha 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 ha! Uh, me! I don't, I don't know, I think, what is this? Supposed to be a, a Cade reference? But anyways, the Gemini Jester, a leg piece, um, basically uh, dodging nearby uh, enemies will temporarily disorient them and remove the radar. So basically, it'll give them like the smoke bomb effect, and in a larger radius, it'll remove their radar for quite a decent amount of time. And during the revelry, where you could basically dodge literally every like one to two seconds, you were just removing radar the entire time, and it's kind of fun to use. Uh, overall, I would say this is more of a uh, PvP exotic, but there's definitely a lot better options for PvP like Stompies, Worm Husk, and specific ones for your super. I'm not really a big fan of this one. I like the idea, but I just wish it was just a little bit 
uh, different. Uh, as far as you roll goes, uh, you have uh, things like Outreach and some Dexterity, nothing really that special. And you have Special and Primary Ammo Finder, and the best thing you can have is Special Ammo Finder for PvE uh, in this column. And that is going to be pretty much it. Again, make sure you pick up your Five of Swords for high-scoring Nightfalls, as well as easy Nightfalls, especially right now with the Community Challenge going on. We still need to get a lot of Zol kills and Nocris kills, so go out there and use the Five of Swords to get higher-scoring Nightfalls if you still need it. And of course, the Invitation of the Nine, if you still have them to do, uh, are going to be available for powerful rewards and lore. And then finally, you have the Faded Engram, guaranteed to give you an exotic from Forsaken. And before, I don't think they've included any new ones, but please tell me if I am wrong. But that's it. That is going to be the end of the Zerf for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below if there's something I missed, you have any questions or concerns, or anything like that. That's it. Uh, my name's Vinay Chronic, and I will see you guys on the next one.